Hey everybody, Frank back here with you for another episode of Flavor of the Day. This, we are starting week two of Flavor of the Day. Week one, thank you so much for all the feedback. Seems like everyone's liking it, so we'll continue. I want to thank everybody who checked out week one. This week, we're starting a flavor that is a flavor profile that's rather difficult for a lot of people, including myself, going with cherries. And we're going to start off with one that isn't the easiest to work with, but we'll get into that here in a moment. We are going with Flavora's Black Cherry. Not a real popular flavor. I mean, Flavora products, we know we're excellent quality, super concentrated. This one, maybe not as strong as the others, but we know with cherries, you know, it gets, you know, gets real finicky as far as having problems with you know medicinal you know tasting like cough drops stuff like that you know some sour notes so let's go down let's check out some flavor notes on it and then we'll get everybody out of here let's go oh here's what we have black cherry flavor average median percentage is 1.2 single flavor two and a half not a lot of notes on this flavor and they go, they don't go back too far. I mean, it's a new ish, not new flavor, but it's a couple of years old. Nothing there, so not a lot there. Common uses, it's pretty straightforward sweetener, menthol, rainer cherry, cola. Seems like this one's gonna be used a lot in beverages. Colada, ice, you know, stuff to cool it down, sweetness, ethylmaltol, vanilla custard, wait, bait wizard, I guess, to kind of calm it down. Only 22 public recipes for this flavor. The top one, 2019, I guess it is actually an older flavor, some older, some 2015 mixes here, is Cherry Coke. This one actually didn't look bad. I don't have the Anywhere Cherry. I have cherries, and I don't have the Cap Lemon Sicily, but I could see where any kind of lemon will help boost up the, those cherry notes. And, of course, sweetener because, you know, here's a beverage. I could see that. Uh, let's see where to go. Okay. What's this one from Kinnick Kinnick from 2015? Let's see. You have black, black cherry French pipe from Inawera. So this one's using a tobacco, milk, and honey, and vanilla custard. Like a black cherry pipe tobacco. Let's see that. Nana Split from Silly Rabbit from 2015. Pretty straightforward, use it at 2%. Some stuff I haven't really heard of. I mean, we have strawberries and cream in there, but hawk sauce, I'm not quite sure what that is. Let's see, uh, Joshua Vapes, he used it a couple of times. Now, he uses, I found following his mixing, he uses flavors rather high. But here he used it at 2% with Flavora Cola at 3 Some smooth vanilla and sweetener. Not bad. I mean, this one, I might actually want to vape that one. It looks pretty good. And he used it with an apple black currant. You know, use it one and a half. Use black currant at one. Red apple at four. And sweetener again. There's not a whole heck of a lot of smoky blue. Of course, you know, she did cherry coke with it. And of course, her percentages are always rather low, which is, you know, her style of mixing. Uh, you know, black cherry is used at 0.2. She mixes in drops, so I mean, you know, there's a lot of lower numbers. Citrus soda, cola, cool menthol ice, rainer cherry, and sweet cream. I guess the sweet cream is going to give it that frosted note. Wayne used it. Ry Karen for you. Uh, tobacco mix, obviously black cherry blended tobacco cherry. He used it at 1% there. Some RY4 in there. Not a whole lot of mixers that I, you know, I mean, it's just, there's not a lot of public recipes with this flavor. It's a rather, I don't know if I want to say obscure flavor, but is what it is here. This mixer used it at 1% recently with some, you know, a lot of mixed up, a lot of, uh, you know, Zen will probably go nuts on that one because not, there's not a lot there. There's really not a whole lot to tell about this flavor. 
Let's go back up and we'll finish this off. There we go. So flavor of black cherry. What we have, let's say we have a flavor that isn't used a whole lot. Maybe it gets kind of forgotten about. Uh, it looks like it mostly is used in cherry beverages. So I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it's a decent flavor. I mean, it, it, it depends on what you're trying to do with it. It's like if you're trying to do like a cherry Coke or a cherry vanilla or mix it with like a black cherry tobacco. So you have beverages and you have tobacco is probably the most, most common uses for this flavor. All right, everybody. So that's what we got with that flavor. Nice you know, start to the week. Week two, we we'll be easing into it a little bit. All right, everybody, let's say getting cl closer and closer to that 1,000 mark. So go ahead, give it a sub if you haven't already. Make sure you like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I'm, you know, I'm thick-skinned. I can handle it. Any feedback in the comments, you know, very welcome, positive, negative. Just be smart about it. Don't be educated. Don't just say, hey, Frank, you're an asshole, because I already know that. So you don't have to tell the whole world that. We, everybody already knows. All right, everybody. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. Have a good Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.